per set. Only rolling. And action. The theme of the spots we're shooting here is be like no one. Basically what Be Like No One is about is celebrating what these individual aspects are that make all of the superstars today completely unique. So the premise of the cover reveal commercial we're shooting here is kind of a, uh, a masked vandal going through a warehouse with a lot of historical artifacts from WWE history and basically destroying them. This year, we really wanted to celebrate the current roster. So it's about defining your own character and being like no one that's come before you. We've created this WWE archive and housed inside are all the real props of, you know, 50 years of WWE history. Everything from the Andre the Giant statue to the original gear of Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels. I think what makes Seth Rollins a perfect cover person for the game is attitude. He's not trying to be someone else. He's not trying to be the next Steve Austin or the next Rock. He's trying to be the first Seth Rollins. As I heard the concept, I, I freaked out a little bit. What we've tried to create here is a version of the WWE warehouse, the vault where all the history of the company is kept. I'm kind of blown away, actually. These Ric Flair robes that they made, you know, immaculate jewel placement, and all of the filigree is pretty much totally accurate. I got to punch Mankind's mask through a glass case and dump some old championship titles down. Even watching the replica was a little cringeworthy, because for like a quick second there, I was like, what if I gave him the wrong one? <laughs> what would I like to smash? What's out there that's smashable? If you're like me, you're gonna cringe at some of this stuff. Like, how could they possibly destroy the Andre the Giant statue? We actually recreated the torso of it from the original mold so that Seth can then take a sledgehammer to it and bust it into pieces. And action. Being on set today has been awesome. I've been able to really, really kind of go to town on some of these set pieces. We're set. I'm extremely humbled. You know, you look at the guys who've graced the cover of the WWE video game over the years. It's a very small and elite group, so to be a part of that and be asked to be a part of that, it's going to be something that I'll take with me forever. I'm going to cue the fire. It's quite a cathartic experience, really. Looking forward to setting the whole place on fire and getting out of here before it takes me with it.